American for the class of 2012, Ryan Flores, will be inducted on Saturday, March 2nd with an on-campus celebration. They'll include a halftime ceremony during AU men's basketball game at 2 p.m., followed by a 4.30 p.m. reception and formal induction ceremony, induction cocktail reception, and dinner tickets priced at $100 each. Are now available for purchase. Register today and get details on this year's honorees at aueagles.com slash Hall of Fame 2024. Up to 149, as it'll be Ryan Zerman versus Ethan Miller, brother of Cal. Yeah, we haven't, we, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of uh, Ryan Zimmerman in, a, in an AU singlet. He's, you know, had a, you know, had been in and out of the lineup a little bit uh, in his, you know, year, couple years here. Uh, getting an opportunity right now. Real funky wrestler. Uh, kind of may look like he's out of position, but he's right where he wants to be a lot of the time. But uh, this will be a big test here for the bigger Miller. Miller going to work. He was one and two at the NCAA tournament last year. And there's eighth in the Big Ten. Fourth place finish at the Southern Scuffle. It's in reference Zimmerman. Kind of bounced up and down the lineup last year. Was all the way up at 157. Kind of trying to get a spot to wrestle in and came back down. It's been more competitive at 149, but also some injury issues as well. Actually, he was all the way up at 165 at one point. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, like you said, like came in at 141, thought that was too light, was up at 65 last year, just too big. Spent a lot of the summer getting his body right, getting his head right, kind of made a new commitment to, uh, to wrestling and kind of prioritize it. Um, in his everyday life, so uh, you know, heard some high praise at least of his, you know, on his commitment to the room and working out hard um, from Coach Borelli, and hopefully he pays some dividends here this year. We always talk about that. Any D1 sport is a major commitment, but wrestling's a lifestyle choice. It is absolutely a lifestyle <laughs> choice. Um, you know, it's a grind going into practice every day, trying to beat up on your buddies, um, and also, as we mentioned earlier, worrying about that weight. Um, a lot of discipline that goes into that. It's part of the sport. Not a fun part, but, you know, 95% of the guys out there do it. Three more on the board for Ethan Miller, the redshirt sophomore out of Kansas City, Missouri. Coach Clemson telling us this week kind of has known these guys since they were 12 years old that was kind of worked at the, their club, ran some practices, and... He admitted, he said, look, you know, I kind of saw what was coming with these guys. Again, I, they still had some really good wrestlers, and I like working over there at their club, but we knew these guys could really maybe be something special, even at that age, and darned if eventually they don't come east and wrestle for them at Maryland. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's paying off. They're real, both guys are, are, both brothers are real tough, and we've got a perfect example, as you know, I talked about being a match with that three-point takedown. Blows the match open quick. Yep. Back to Coach Clemson for a second. Of course, he was an assistant at Missouri, also an assistant at Virginia. So kind of knows the DMV area from that, but also in a nice wrestling Ten. school in Missouri as well. And looking for some back points there. Does not get them, but Miller will go to the second period up 12 to 3. Terps up in the team score 8 to 4. Yeah, Miller's going to have success with his takedowns. Um, he's going to choose neutral here to start the second. And continue to build on his lead. I like the pace of Miller. Just kind of like a Wolverine just keeps coming at you. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure. Just shooting in, right? You know, a lot of straight in shots, too. Um, now he's coming out the back door, looking to isolate that leg, hook that ankle, and Post on that knee if he's able to. Zim right here. Zimmerman does a great job of just like latching on to you and being a leech on top uh, in these scramble positions. You know, in a tough spot here, maybe just looking for a stalemate. No advantage yet to no riding time coming off. Yeah, Zimmerman's got to be careful here with 
get in that danger, but he just keeps wrapping up, staying tight. One minute remains, one minute. Miller thinking smart here, trying to sit him back on his head. It's tough, it's tough when you get in that deep, you work hard for that takedown and uh, nothing comes of it. That, that can be that can be tiring, but on the same other, on the other end, you know, Zimmerman's fighting hard to keep that takedown off. Uh, those scrambles can be exhausting. So remember the six and seven record last year. Miller, 18 and eight, excuse me, 27 and nine. Really good wrestler out of the show me state. Showing the fans here at Bender exactly what he can do. Oh, nice double by Miller, but just, you know, he's got, again, Zim's going to be able to hang on here at least for the time being. Added a point for stalling there, so now a 10 point advantage. Takes us to the third period. Remember, riding time point coming up likely. Zimmerman's going to get an opportunity on top. See if he can make something happen. Getting up to his feet quick. Zimmerman trying to return here with that cross leg block. Stall call is going to come. Zimmerman's got to really try here, but you know we're not really getting an attempt of an escape from our bottom guy. Zim here in a tough situation, able to get his hips back on top. But Miller just does a great job of getting up to his feet. Zimmerman needs to really work hard to get down, and he does. It looked like Miller had a pretty good base there, but then lost it. Ends up back on the mat. Zim's looking to get that left boot in. Looks like Miller wasn't able to catch it. He's able to flatten him out. At the very least, Zimmerman's gonna be able to erase some riding time. Has it under a minute. So that's big. Tell you what, does it look to you a little bit like Miller ran out of a little gas here? Yeah, I, I, it, it sure does. I mean, like I said, you know, he got in on those two shots and Zimmerman's holding on. It's hard to scramble out of coming out the back door while someone's, uh, you know, latching onto you like that. So we're definitely there seeing a little, little let up on pace. And obviously, again, he had such a great pace to start the first two periods, but. Exactly. And as I was going to mention in the earlier periods, you know, he was finishing his shots real quick, but in that second period, he just had a tough time finishing his shots right away. But here, we're going to be in the last 10 seconds. 10 seconds you know, not really a attempt from either guy to escape or return. Another point for stalling. But that will keep it 16 to 3. So just the major decision for Ethan Miller as he gets the four points for his team but can't get the fifth. That will add three more on for Maryland. 